Hey, hey, hey. Time for another Out of This World story from our space. What is going on? There was one situation when my wife tried to call her ex-boyfriend four times in a row at 10 p.m. She didn't talk with him, but tried to reach him. I know that because we used to have an app with our two numbers saved and I could see incoming and outgoing phone calls for each number. After that, I went nuts. Why is my wife calling her ex four times at 10 p.m.? I decided to check her iMessage on her laptop. Felt terrible, but for me, it was justified. We're married, have kids, and she is acting weird. After calling him four times, she wrote him a message. I'm going to keep calling until you pick up and talk to me as a normal human being. When I asked her about it, she lied she wasn't calling him, so I showed her the app and her outgoing calls. She had nothing else to do but to admit she did try to reach him. I asked her why, and she explained she was calling back. Knowing that she also wrote to him after calling, I asked her if she wrote anything to him after. She said no. Then I showed her the message she wrote to him, and she explained that he got drunk and called her, started talking some mumbo jumbo. When she heard that she told him to F off and hung up, then she felt wrong about it and tried to call him four times because he wasn't picking up. Finally, she wrote what she wrote. He didn't reply. I don't know what to think about it. It happened around the time she stopped being intimate with me. Her opinion on the situation is that for her, it's not weird or bad that she kept it from me. It's not important for her. Thing is, any contact with an ex is a bad sign. It's unacceptable for me. Is she cheating? There is no intimacy between us since six months. This is when the calls happened. I also posted on dead bedrooms yesterday, and my situation is described in more detail there. But this post is about infidelity in particular. Update. Thank you all for your insight. At first I couldn't believe how many of you claimed that she is indeed cheating on me. It was like some science fiction to me. Something I would see in a movie maybe? Something my wife would never do. However, today everything changed. It became a fact. I feel stupid to be just another person like that, but I guess this is how life is. Now, I know I promised calling her ex and talking to her family, but I decided to take a step back and play it cool. Can you believe how easy that was? All I did is I installed a voice activated recorder in her car, not even a GPS. It was there just three days. She used the car to work and then she went to a workout and finally she called him or he called her twice. Don't know exactly who called who, but I heard every word. It was a video conversation over the phone. I heard all the stuff I need. Things about sex, things about each other's life. They talked like me and my wife nine years ago when we met each other. Same attraction, jokes, etc. Something I don't have with her for a while. Things about vacation planning. She wants to visit him this July. Wow. She gave him a time frame of two years to move back to our country. Jesus, I can't believe it. Now, I'm after listening to an hour-long recording of this filth. There are some things I need to process. I need to meet an attorney next week, etc. All I wanted to say is thank you. You opened my eyes, and if it wasn't for you, I would have never bought the freaking voice recording device. And to think, I felt bad placing it in the car. My God. I will be updating. Right now I need to chill a bit. Keep thinking about my kids and what she has done. They started it in September last year. It took me two months to notice changes in her behavior. I will be taking care of my old father for an entire next week in another city. This means she won't be going to work for a week. Instead, she will use my home office. This also means she will be talking to him in the office most likely. Would you place a recorder in the office for the next week or have I enough? Update. Hi everybody. When the intimacy between me and my wife ended, I posted on Dead Bedroom Sub, find out what is going on. Then I posted on this sub about one situation when she called her ex four times. I received great support from the community, which led me to put a voice recorder in her car. Now I have proof that her problems are not caused by the reasons she tells everybody around. I'm basically not enough, she does all the work around the house, etc. It's the old fashioned pure cheating. It started in September last year, so I'm out of the picture for a long time. The details are in my other posts, but here's the thing. Right now, she doesn't want to spend a moment with me around the apartment we rent. She always has some stuff to do and goes to her parents, aunts, friends, etc. She even goes to sleep or just goes to lie in the bed when we put our kids to sleep, one and three years old. The recording tells it all. She mentions she loves him, 
that she wants to visit him and have sex with him. They talk a lot about his penis. She told him she wants to go on vacation with him. Also told him she will be his wife and that she'll leave me soon. She was even talking about his favorite sex position. So yes, they had sex. It's all there. Point is, she doesn't know that I know. Her whole family and friends don't know. They just think we have a temporary crisis. She is one of three sisters, Catholic, every Sunday in church. We live in a small town, 20,000 people. We recently built a house, but it's not finished. I feel like she will file for divorce very soon. I can see she is suffering with me in the apartment and she can't handle it anymore. Her body language and total lack of any conversation shows it. She wants me out soon so that there will be some time when I'm gone. And then within two years, the affair partner will move to the small town to live with her in our house and my two little boys. In the recording, she mentions she gives him two years to come back to our country. People will understand that she needs a father for her kids and won't complain. The affair partner is her first boyfriend. They were together for seven years before she married me. We are nine years together. The affair partner is living abroad but visits our country frequently. I refuse to be played like that. Now I have an attorney and will be meeting him soon about it. I can basically destroy her reputation by showing bits of the recording to anybody. Please help me with any advice. What do I do when she serves me papers? The attorney says my papers need a month of preparation. I would never guess I would be dealing with a monster like that. One quick thought from emergency ad 3355. Do not wait on her to file for divorce. You file ASAP. Your attorney should tell you to get your personal finances together. This includes all house, autos, insurance, and credit cards. As soon as she is served, tell her parents, your parents, and all friends about her cheating. You need to get in front of this or she will walk all over you. Do you live in a no-fault state or country? Good luck. Update. This is an update to the post, wife is in a relationship with her ex. I met with the attorney and learned some significant things. It turned out going the burn her world way would not be so smart. The reason for that is that we have kids and I have to co-parent with her for the next 15 to 16 years. Another reason is I have a lot of respect for her family and I don't want to get them involved in the divorce as witnesses. Also, I would not win kids because they are small and have to be with her mother in the small town one hour away from me in the capital city. I would be an every other weekend dad anyway. Finally, I would not have permission to sell her house because the kids need to have good living conditions and won't have another place to live. The place they live now is a property of her dad's. It's temporary. As crappy as it sounds, it's the reality in Poland, Europe. After our conversation, the attorney sent her papers. They were set to be delivered right after Easter in Poland. It lasts two days here. It was Sunday and Monday. I faked it all at the table. Alcohol helped a lot. Yesterday, Tuesday, I had a day off work and I was taking care of my one-year-old son. She went to work to the capital city one hour away. In the meantime, my brother helped me take all my stuff from the apartment and put it in his car. The postman delivered the divorce papers, actually an invitation to mediation so we could divide everything like civilized people and divorce amicably. The paper states that she is in a relationship with this guy, first and last name, and it's the reason the divorce will happen. The evidence I have will serve as leverage when establishing child support, etc. When she entered the house, I told her that I know everything. I have irrefutable proof. I'm deeply wounded by it and she needs to contact my lawyer. Then I gave her the divorce papers and left to visit her parents. Of course, she started asking what I know and how I know and denied everything. Her parents were in shock, but believe me, I recorded it all just like my attorney ordered me to do. It started with my questions, if they think I'm a good, caring husband and father. They approved, and now she can't use them as witnesses against me in court. Like I said, they believed me, understood that it's a horrible thing she's done, and she's destroyed their, mine, and our kids' lives. I thanked them for understanding and went to the capital city. In the meantime, I called one friend, and he took care of distributing the news to her friends. Two hours later, my brother-in-law called me and informed me that she admitted she'd been cheating on me with the affair partner, but she didn't admit to actually having sex with him. He informed me that everybody is on my side and she destroyed our family. He told me her sister visited my soon-to-be ex-wife and told her how evil she is. But in the end, he told me that everything can be saved, that he also cheated on his wife. She forgave him and now they are very happy. Then her father called and also admitted that it's completely her fault and she doesn't realize what she's done. 
He told me the affair partner will never enter his house and that he will stop financially helping the soon-to-be ex-wife. He even called the affair partner, but he didn't pick up. In the end, he said he believes it can be saved. Finally, her other sister sent me a text telling me that she fully supports me, but again, she believes it can be saved. I don't like that at all because I don't believe it can be saved. I'm positive about it. I'm afraid they will cling to the fact that I don't have some sort of sex tape of them and my reasons are not enough to leave her. I have recordings of her saying, Make sure you last more than three seconds when I come visit you in Holland. I wonder if your dad's penis is the same as yours. You know what? I'll come to that woman and will ask her how long is your brother's penis and I will tell her how long is yours. I love you. I'm going to leave my husband. Please record yourself and send me a video. Your favorite position is... Mm, I'm showing you how your life with me is going to look like. I'm giving you two years to move back here. All that in connection with a lack of emotions towards me for seven months. Furthermore, right after confrontation, she told me she never stopped loving him. This is proof enough for me. What do you think? Anyway, right now, like many of you mentioned before, she is crawling back. After her family confronted her about it, she is writing me texts like, I don't know what I was doing. I can't imagine living without you. I'm so sorry for everything I've done. I'm waiting with kids for your comeback, blah, blah, blah. She also said that she didn't mean to tell me that she always loved him. I don't know. They make me feel like I jumped a gun with the divorce because I don't have the actual sex tape. They don't know that. All they know is that I have proof and she is not admitting to actually having sex with him. It's believable because he is in Holland, but he could have visited her here. We've got a reaction from IRL Dean. I'm so sorry for what had happened. Honestly, you are so brave and calm when you confronted her. She's only saying all those things because she was caught. The affair would have continued if you never found out about it. I'm glad that her family is on your side, but even so, if you decide to get a divorce, it is well within your right. I understand them hoping that this marriage can survive, but what matters here is your feelings and mental health. Our next thought comes from Shot Sandwich 8963. What actual sex tape? What do you need? She crossed a clear boundary in the relationship. You know it, she knows it, and her family knows it. She won't admit to anything further. She is trickled truth and gaslighting you, only admitting to what you can prove. She was at the very least in a full-blown emotional relationship with the affair partner. I feel those can be far worse than physical affairs in a lot of ways. You have been replaced as the emotional partner to your wife. The divorce and informing her family, which are great ideas, caught her off guard. She doesn't know what you're going to do next. I once read that the unpredictability is the ultimate weapon against infidelity. She can't control you or the situation because she does not know what's going to happen next. Research and implement the 180. This will really get to her. Good luck on your journey. Remember to be strong for yourself and your children. The OP replies, thanks for that. To me, the fact that I was spending evenings alone without any sex for the past seven months is enough. If she's able to abandon her husband to that level, she is not worth being with. I feel like it's even worse than a one night stand with a random girl. Our last comment comes from Grendel's Lair. Write out a partial transcript of the recordings and give them to her family. Not the sex parts, but any nasty things she said about you and her desire to leave you. You said her tone made it clear she despises you. Explain that and offer some clips if they want to hear. Everyone is in damage control right now. They may think it's only the sex you're upset about. You need to make clear that it's her attitude toward you that is the most hurtful. Good luck.